Hey guys, it's ChrisLink.com again. Boy, uh, do we got something to tell you today. Uh, you guys have all known I've been blue screening here if you've been keeping up my videos by date wise. So, I'm going to tell you the reason we've been blue screening. I mean, getting blue screens left and right, ranging from like hibernation. So, if you, you know, click start and you went down to sleep and you'd get a blue screen there, blue screen of death, whatever you really want to call it, you know. So, well, we're going to teach you how to get rid of that. Now, I'm pretty sure all of you that are watching this who are on Windows 7, as you see my background here, this is mostly a Windows 7 thing. Um, I'm sorry if you're an XP. Um, it could be the same issue, but I found out what the reason is. Now, I was a little skeptic on it, but I'm pretty sure it's the Service Pack 1 that I got on Thursday. Um, I've done everything in the book. Every single thing there is. I, this computer right now is so registry clean all that stuff like you don't even understand like and I'm still trying to figure out why I'm getting this blue screen but I've already tested it out or restarted tried sleep and I'm not getting the darn blue screens anymore not even one bit and well, I'm going to teach you how to get if you've downloaded service pack one we're going to teach you how to get rid of it because it just came out like on Thursday or Friday or something like that or that's when I got it you know it's so brand new that there's still so much excuse me there's still so much stuff on it that is just bad like there's so much stuff I've there's over 10,000 and probably even more people on Google and YouTube saying they've got these problems hope this video is gonna help you out um really all you gotta do is get rid of service pack one maybe in two or three weeks re-download it I know it's gonna say you got a Windows update down here it's gonna be like hey you got an update just, you know, sh screw it. Don't do the update. Just X out of some things here. It's always good to exit some things down there. Free up your space. So anyways, what you're going to do to get rid of Service Pack 1, you're going to hit Start button, or Windows 7 button. I guess some people are calling it different nowadays. Anyways, click that. Go to the Control Panel. And you'll notice this is, uh, you can change your category. This could be what you guys are looking at. It's, you know, small. It's all the same. For this uh, tutorial, just go to Category View. I'm um, going to go to Programs. Underneath, it'll say Uninstall Program. Click that. Now, this is your programs I have. Oh, and yes, it is just large. Like I told you in previous videos, like such as the blue screen video, there's just hundreds of stuff I've got on here. So, you're going to click over here. Click View Installed Updates. Now mine's not on here because I already got Service Pack 1 uh, taken off. I really would have liked to in reinstall it for this video, but nah, it would have took me a few more hours. And uh, a lot of you guys out there right now, it's a beautiful Saturday. It's getting warm out. I live in beautiful Minnesota. And yes, yeah, not so beautiful right now. We're getting ready to flood here. Um, Yeah. So anyways, you're going to probably see something like this. It'll say like uh, Windows Service Pack, maybe Windows Service Pack update or something like that. Windows Service Pack. I don't have the KB code right now. Um, uh, maybe you'll put it in the description later on if you got to find that. But anyways, it'll, it'll be something like that. It'll probably say Microsoft Windows as the program. Um, publisher Microsoft Corporation probably. So yeah, so you right click that and you'll just hit the beautiful uninstall. Once that's done, I would recommend just restarting your computer at the time. And guys, um, I'm just going to give you a quick note. M Minecraft, I do play Minecraft. You guys can maybe be expecting some new Minecraft videos out there. Um, you can see here my desktop is getting full of it. Um, and maybe we'll get some more videos coming up here soon. So thanks again. This is Chris Link um, with another ChrisLink.com tutorial on... How to fix your computer from blue screening from Windows 7 Service Pack 1. Thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe, comment, rate me.